so excited to be here. Are we not? Super excited. <laughs> Had a long couple days of travel. Um, I didn't vlog any of it because, first of all, I had a little bit of a meltdown 30 minutes before we went to the airport. And it's because I dropped my vlog camera, which is an older vlog camera, but it still was great. And I dropped it and I broke it. And so we didn't pick up this camera until we had our um, 11 hour layover, 11 hour layover in Atlanta. So here we are now. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not going to vlog until we get here. I'm like, I just don't even want to deal with it with the new camera. Like, I'm literally holding it right now on top of a charging block because it's dying. Um, but we are in the heart of Athens. Um, what is it? Plaka. Plaka. Um, and definitely walking with our luggage through the streets. So I'm like, okay, we definitely picked a really good location. It's beautiful here. The Acropolis is, like, literally, like, right there like it's kind of crazy how it's just like in the heart of the city and um we're just excited to be here but today we're just beat and i think we're just gonna get food and shower and just kind of relax and try and get on the right schedule and time for the rest of the trip um we'll be in athens for how many days mm, four days including today four days including today so we're here for the longest amount of time um compared to all the other places we're going to in greece but yeah, we're just super excited. Um, I'll give you guys a little room tour. So here's the front door, the bed, and then look how beautiful that is. It is stunning. Honestly, one of the selling points. TV, little closet area. We have microwave, there's a fridge underneath there, sink. There's a couch, mirror, and into the bathrooms. Look how pretty this is. And then the bathroom, and then over here is the shower. Holding my my charging block, but it's just stunning. Just happy to be here, honestly. consider this day one really truly like a full day here in Greece um, and we woke up at 6 this morning we're gonna get breakfast around 7 and then we are going to the Acropolis I think at 8 I think we were kind of thinking about it we're like what do you think is gonna be like the best lighting like with 8 in the morning or like later at night sunset and then like how busy do you think it'd be so I think we're going to see what lighting is like this morning and then if we don't go, we'll go later today. Um, and then other than that, today is just kind of see the sights, some of the main places, um, like museums and I don't know names but right now, but I'm excited. I'm going to curl my hair and um, finish getting ready and yeah, come along with, oh my god, I can't speak. And that will be it. So let's go. OOTD. They look good. Mm -hmm. Yeah? They look great. They look great.
Alright, stand back over there. How is it? It's good. It's good? Mm -hmm. Do you want to try one of the Greek donuts? It's hot. very hot. Very hot. What do you think? It's good. good. Alright, taste test. Is it hot? Yes. How is it? I burned my, my lips though. Thank you for that. day here in Athens and we are so so excited yesterday was so fun um saw a lot yesterday like it almost feels like multiple days and maybe it feels like that because we took a pretty large nap in the middle of the day which we're so messed up on the time zone change honestly <laughs> we're very messed up on it uh we we're hoping not to do that but it is what it is now so I feel like in some ways it helps us gain up early the next day though, so maybe it will all work out. Um, even though this morning we did not get up early because my alarm didn't go off. That's okay. So we're gonna head out to breakfast and figure out what we're doing today because, I don't know, we saw a lot yesterday. We need to figure out what we haven't seen yet and we went shopping kind of last night and I mean the shops are super, super cute. My alarm's going off. Oh, anyways though, um, went a lot of shopping last night and the shops are really cute here. There's a lot of really pretty um, artwork and jewelry and I mean I honestly feel like I mean it is like very touristy but I feel like it's very nice touristy honestly um, but they do all start to look the same so there's almost honestly only so much shopping you can really do <laughs> it feels like um, at least in this area so we need to kind of figure out what we're doing right? Yes. Yes. That's all you have to say? Yep. Okay. So, we're going to go get breakfast. Yay! There's no one out. <laughs> like, it's like 9 o'clock and there's still no one out and the mm -hmm. shops aren't open. It's really cute right there. Oh, it's so pretty right there. Can I take photos there? Yeah, let's do it. Look at this cute little place. I think we're going to come up back to that spot when this one's a little different. It's so bright. I mean, it's cute, but... Right too, bright. For, too bright for um, camera photos. So. Looks good, right? Looks wow, great. Yeah. Yeah. 
Excited? Say that again. Yep. Do you want to just zoom in on this? So this is built when Paul would have been through here during his missionary um, journeys. That's really cool. Yeah. Just, just okay. go with it. That's just, fine. No. So this building right here is a sundial, a compass, a weather vane. I think there's something else, but it's like all, all three or four of those things combined in one. I don't really know exactly how that works, but yeah. apparently back in the day it was pretty, I guess pretty cool because it had all It was pretty cool back in the it. day? Yeah. yeah. It was the sauce. It was the sauce. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. No, I, okay. I want a video of you. Back onto it, maybe leaning. <laughs> Just went behind my head. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't see myself. Only we could uh, pack that home. Struggling. 
I can't get it. <laughs> Help. Good morning. It's another beautiful day in Athens. Um, I'm talking quiet because I'm outside and I just, no one's out, but I feel like I'm being watched. There's just balconies everywhere. Um, but this is day three of being here and it just, I feel like Athens has just exceeded our expectations and just, it's stunning. We'll have to come back here one day for sure. Um, we had such a lovely time shopping yesterday, eating good food, and we went to like a flea market and antique stores. Everything in the antique stores was just absolutely stunning and I just, I wanted to take it all home with me and I just couldn't and there was, first there was this one clock and I forget the brand of it that me and Nick fell in love with. It was like a small little clock. It was pink and it had little bees on it and it was like $500 and Nick surprisingly was so in love with it like he honestly was like we could buy it and I'm like, <laughs> like I want it I want it for my dream home but we don't need it and then we found another clock which honestly is my dream clock for $200 it's a mid-century starburst clock but sadly it will not fit in our bags it will not fit in our bags there's it, it will it just won't fit and um it's a really sharp point, and I don't think it'd make it through TSA if we even tried to carry it on. Um, but knowing the brand of it and knowing that it works, 200 actually is a really good good price for it. And I've almost bought one of those clocks multiple times for more money, or bought remakes of those clocks for more money. Um, I think we might go look at it one more time and see if there's any way to um, screw off the points and then just let the clock separate and then all the points separately in the bag. But yeah, today we're going to see a couple more, a couple more sites and enjoy our last day in Athens and then we're off to the islands. So.
good morning. Um, this is day four of our trip. You want to begin it? Yeah, okay. <laughs> day four of our trip, um, and we woke up at three this morning, and we mm -hmm. are headed to the airport to go to Santorini. Yeah. Um, so, so excited. This is also our two-year anniversary. So, yeah. yay. Super excited. Um, should I say that one more time? Super excited? Super excited. You're super excited. My vocabulary sucks. I need to work on that. It's okay. That's okay. Um, but honestly, with the time change, I feel like I'm feeling great right now mm -hmm. um, at being three in the morning. We've been waking up at three in the morning. We're waking anyways. up at three in the morning every way. Yeah. I'm like up for a little bit. I like check on my phone, check on <laughs> notifications, and then go back to bed. Um, so I'm feeling actually great. Um, and we'll be in Santorini in like, uh, like 7.45 and probably like at our place at nine yeah probably yep by nine so, so, so and they're know. and they're gonna take our bags for us before we are able to actually check in so mm -hmm. then we're just gonna explore the town city get some food like i think we'll be starving right now we're just eating grapes for breakfast because nothing's open and i got like a couple pounds of grapes i didn't mean to yeah. buy that many grapes i just pointed at it and he just started piling grapes in a bag and i'm like please stop <laughs> I'm like i just want like a little snack right now i didn't want like so yeah, we are on our way. Um, I think our driver is probably here soon. So yep, gotta go. Gotta go. Stunning. Okay, we made it to our beautiful villa in Santorini. Um, honestly, couldn't have picked a better location and spot. And um, the host is super nice and super sweet, and like walked us around the area, like immediately the area immediately. I don't know. Ne next, around yeah, around our Airbnb, and we had breakfast. And I had a really good waffle, and he had like a salty crepe. A salty crepe? <laughs> it's like a meat. Yeah, meat, cheese, meat, meat, cheese, egg, crepe, which was super yummy. Um, and she was just getting the, she let us check in early, but she still had to get it ready. So we walked around the area a little bit. We were drenched in sweat because we had our backpack still, and it's just hot outside. <laughs> but we made it here, and it is just gorgeous. So I'm going to show you guys um, a little Airbnb tour. Okay, just to start, we had to walk up all these steps all the way up here. And then you come here. Here's our little spot, the Hector Luxury Cave. And then here's the view. Pay <laughs> money for this view, though. <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> that was lame. Anyways, it's gorgeous. And then we'll go inside. Open the camera. Okay. So first you have this little like dinette area. Cute little smeg. Refrigerator, waffle maker, sink. And then over here we have some couches and then the indoor jacuzzi little kitchenette. So when we got back here, kind of already made myself at home. 
with the suitcase, TV. And then we got the bathroom, toilet. And then over here is the shower. Really pretty. And that's the space. It is just a dream, an actual dream. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do next, honestly. We're like, I think we might take a dip in the jacuzzi. It's really hot, but I'm also, we're also kind of tempted to walk down to one of the bays and then it's kind of a little hike down and then walk around the cliff. And apparently there's a really good swimming area, she claims, which I mean, I believe her. So I don't know if we're gonna do that. Probably to maybe tomorrow midday. We'll go check that out. I think we're a little tired today and I think we just want to relax and hang out and then come sunset time and go get dinner and take some photos. Definitely some of the main the main spots with the blue dome roofs. So I like there's a lot of those but in this area there's like three main. They're all in the same little hub and there's all these little alleyways like walking to get to those and it's kind of nice because people like stand in line so it's like it's kind of an organized chaos but at the same time it's like there's a line so i think we're gonna wake up really early tomorrow morning and go take photos there hopefully before anyone else or as long as the crowd is just a lot less than that because it's pretty crazy and it's like there's certain angles i want to take photos there and i don't even know the angles yet because you can't even get down in there because all the little alleyways and little tiny streets that are like two shoulder widths wide are just packed so i can't even really walk down there to see like oh we'll just go right there tomorrow so we'll be a little adventure tomorrow figuring that out but yeah we're just happy to be here i santorini is probably I hate to say it, but probably the most beautiful place I've ever been. And I kind of wondered if maybe, like, Santorini is just one of those places that, like, look really good in photos. If that makes any sense? Like, looks really good in photos, edited photos, and in real life it just isn't, like, like, it's pretty, but it's not as pretty as in photos. But honestly, without a filter, without edited, staged it is stunning and it seems very clean here the people people ever in greece so far have just been like ridiculously friendly and kind and yeah i just i'm just I'm like wow we're only here for two nights like we we need to come back here one day like give it some time but like i'm i will come back here <laughs> at some point in my life for sure um but yeah that's gonna be our day In the sun. A little bit, yeah. Not your shoulders, though. Good. So I can feel them burning. I think they are burning. Mm-hmm. Try new things. Big Dude, fan. My big fan it is. Good. Yeah. What do you think? It's delicious. What is that, Nick? I think it's a submarine. It looks like a submarine. What is can you zoom in on it? It like really what does. What is it? Oh, it's gonna zoom super slow. What is it? I don't know, it's not even wanting to focus on it. Who's a submarine? <laughs> Just a boat. <laughs> Apparently our place is popular. You know who's not having more fun than that? Look at all the people over there. All there for sunset. <laughs> Are you just participate? Yeah, hold on. Are you setting up that break camera? Because we're those people. <laughs> yeah, the phones. There's two of them. My camera. Nick's camera. The Fuji film. <laughs> and then our new thing is we have a film camera. So that's us. <laughs> Constantly. <sighs> but it's been a really, really nice day in Santorini. Um, it's been our, I mean, this is how we spent our 
two year wedding anniversary. It's been a pretty good day. Had some, what do we have for dinner? What do you have for dinner? I had uh, euros and... Uh, How do you call them? Euros. Not, no, what do you call them? Not gyros. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> I had the same thing I keep getting, the chicken Slovaki. Slovaki? Slovaki. Very good. Know. It's very good. Very good chicken. And garlic pita bread. And then garlic pita bread that I ate like 90% of. Yep. <laughs> it was really... Really good, so good that we're gonna have to learn how to make that at home. Honestly, it was so yummy. I think we might get that for lunch tomorrow. We're not, we've been kind of skipping lunch most of the days, just doing a breakfast and early dinner and mm -hmm. calling it big good. Big breakfast. Yeah, big breakfast yeah. and early dinner. We've been fine, which I feel like it yeah. saved us some money. But I'm like, that was so good. Then I'm like, I think we need to go back. We just really haven't been hungry either. I don't know if it's just because we're eating bigger meals or if the food's just better for Filling. us. I don't know. I just haven't really been hungry as it's much. It's weird because I feel like I've, I eat less, but I feel fuller. Um, but I don't feel, like fuller meaning I'm not hungry throughout the day, but I don't feel like bloated and like when we eat big meals at home at restaurants, like Red Robin or something or pizza, afterwards I'm like, <laughs> it's just a little too much. And I'm like, I feel like, like my stomach is going to explode, but I haven't felt like that at all this whole trip. So, I feel like that's promising. We both got a little bit of color today, too. Yes, tomato man. You're not that bad. You're not that bad. Farmer's tan, You're not sure. that bad. Yeah, for sure, farmer's tan. Yeah. Yeah, but that's okay. Um, no, we've just been enjoying the sunset from our place. Um, we're definitely not facing the way that the sun sets, but I honestly kind of like it. It should be pretty for sunrise, though. I kind of like it better, but yeah, we're gonna wake up for sunrise tomorrow, so. we we'll probably show the moon, show what we're looking at. Yeah. All the crazies over there. So we got the whole island, the crater, the moon, all the little boats, and then over there, and probably all to the right of there as well, was just filled with people. Like more than Disneyland fills people, and it still kind of is. We walked over there for a couple photos really quick before the sun was even setting, and people were waiting there for the sun to set, like two hours ahead. Yeah. But I think that's gonna be, oh my gosh, but I think that's gonna be our night. So see you tomorrow. Good morning, you guys. It is day five of our Greece trip, um, and we are in Santorini for our last full day or first full day. Yesterday was a very full day, so it like, feels like we were there all day long because we kind of were, we got in super early. And this morning we woke up for sunrise. It was still dark outside when we got going and we went to see all those, um, so that we're, blue those dome um, blue dome churches that Santorini is known for before the crowds kind of swamp in and before the sun comes out it's just way too bright and glaring. So we did that, got some beautiful photos, edited photos. We had breakfast delivered to our Airbnb, which was really nice. We got to try some new foods, which surprisingly I've been doing really good this trip, trying new foods and um, some of the stuff I really like. Some of it I don't like, which is fine, but I tried it. So, I mean, I can check that off. <laughs> um, but right now we are just headed down to one of the bays here and we're gonna go swim in the ocean and have a nice time in the heat of the day and then we'll probably come back here and spend probably the rest of the evening at our Airbnb enjoying the view and then go get some food for dinner. So that's basically our day. <laughs>
it to Milos. Um, didn't vlog early, early this morning. We did wake up for sunrise again. Took some photos, not as many as last time. Um, I just kind of wandered the streets a little bit and enjoyed our last morning there. Had breakfast at the place we had breakfast the first day, which was really good. It kind of paid for the view a little bit because it was just a little pricier than the other places and you don't get as much food as some other places, but kind of wanted to enjoy the view and the waffle was really good and the crepe was really good. So worth it. Um, so after breakfast, we packed our stuff up and then headed to kind of the middle of Santorini Island. I don't know what that town is called, but where the ferries, it's where the ferries dock. So took a car there, got to the ferry, went on our first ferry ride, which was fun. I just read the whole time. Nick got a little bit woozy, ended up falling asleep to feel a little better. And um, we've made it here. Um, this island, we actually rented a car because there's a lot of places to drive to. We just wanted to be kind of on our own time and not have to wait on drivers and stuff. But Athens, Santorini, and then Mykonos, we were just walking everywhere. So this will be a little bit of a different experience than the other places. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys a little room tour. Okay, first walk in, I got a fridge outside to the patio. Super pretty, really nice. It's small, but really nice. And then in the bathroom. And then I'll show you guys the outside. So once we get settled in here, I think we're gonna go get some food for lunch. We know we haven't really been getting lunch much, much. Gosh, haven't really been getting lunch much this trip. We've been kind of just doing big breakfasts and big dinners, kind of early dinners, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but get some lunch because we're really hungry. And then I think we might go see some beaches and go kind of explore the island a little bit, just kind of see what's here and what we want to go back to, so. First or second day with Milos? It's our second day. It's our second day. We got here kind of early yesterday, so this, I guess this is our second day, Milos. We woke up for sunrise this morning, of course, um, and went to the most beautiful beach. I will find what that's called here. Um, I'm not going to try and pronounce it. Um, got breakfast, and then we just saw another really beautiful beach. I just I can't pronounce anything, so we'll just show clips of that. And Anyways, went there. We didn't really hang out there much. We just like saw it, and we're just gonna go beach hopping and 
go see the sights and drive around the island and maybe we stop at Hill Beaches and swim or come back to Hill Beaches and swim, but we just kind of want to see everything as much as we can. We only have one day here. Yeah. Like one full day. Yeah, we only have one full day here, so we just want to go see the sights. And I have a really bad heat rash that's kind of coming and going, so it kind of goes away overnight, but then it comes back in the heat again, so we've just been kind of taking it easy towards um, kind of mid end of the day, like midday before dinner, just kind of making it easy, um, just because it hurts, and I just don't want to be in the sun with that, so we might do that again today and take a little nap, so I'm going to take you along with us. Adventuring! Last day here in Milos. Um, searching for one last little location that wants to go see. I think I'm all tuckered out. <laughs> but after this, we're gonna get some dinner and then call it a night. It's been a really fun trip here. It's beautiful. We definitely want to come back here at some point and spend more days here on the island for sure. Um, it seems like a lot of the locals in Athens love this island and this is where they come to vacation a lot. So it's definitely, I don't know, definitely different than the Norris. Oh definitely different than the normal touristy scene for sure.
bitches. Hello from Mykonos. Um, we got here yesterday and probably midday yesterday and the town is absolutely stunning but Nick had a little bit of seasickness. Yeah. Not like throwing up seasickness but just like... On the verge. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh god. So we took it really easy. We did wander around the town a little bit and we had lunch at a really good pizza spot and then dinner we got some um euros mm -hmm. and chicken slovaki yep. which was really good probably the last time we'll have that which i love that meal but i'm <laughs> i'm ready for food from home honestly it's just like i just can't keep eating the same yeah. same thing anyways mykonos is really really pretty um i think it's funny enough better than i expected but when we were in Athens, do you want to like scoot in the video more? When we were in Athens and we talked to a ton of locals there, um, it's funny how everyone there just completely craps on Mykonos. <laughs> like just completely. Um, they were like, oh yeah, we could just have, like just not have that a part of our country. Like, just had nothing good to say about it whatsoever. There, but it seemed like they all said the same little spiel of, yeah, if you want to go drink, do drugs, and prostitutes. <laughs> like, those three things is what every single local said about it. And then, like, since this is our last stop for our trip, I think we were both kind of, like, wary. Like, maybe we shouldn't have gone here. Like, maybe we should have stayed some extra days in Milos because we really, really liked Milos. And honestly, I think we probably could have, probably could have, but we can say we've seen this place now. And honestly, it's it's better than I expected. The town is really cute, it's really pretty. I feel like the bones of the town is really, really nice. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of really good restaurants and bars. And I don't know, you can still definitely bring a family here. Like there's a lot of families and beautiful and there's lots of beaches and such. But I definitely noticed that the food is more expensive. Everything is more expensive, even more expensive than Santorini mm -hmm. from our experience. Like even just on simple foods, because we usually, we don't really, really eat at fancy restaurants. We eat from little holes in the wall and kind of simple places. And like, even those are like quite a bit more than Santorini. Mm -hmm. um, so expect to pay more. <laughs> and from what we heard from locals in Athens is like being at the beaches, all the be beaches cost money and you can be paying yeah. hundreds of dollars, not thousands of dollars, just to stay, like rent a bed next to a hundred other beds on the beach. That's just what they said. We did not experience that. We haven't gone to any beaches here. Probably won't. Um, this is kind of our last full day of the trip and I think we're just both really tired. <laughs> so this morning we wandered around the town and um, just kind of saw the sights without the crowd. We did notice, so it is kind of a party town. And I felt like the party, like, I felt like it was gonna be more like, probably in the beach resorts and stuff, and it probably is. But like, late last night, you could definitely hear people in the streets, like mm -hmm. drunk people on the streets. And this morning, wandering around the town, before all the shops are open, you have like all the locals, like mopping the ground and picking up the trash. And it's mm -hmm. like, there was not that much trash yesterday evening. And then there's just trash and like, Yes, and garbage and who knows what. Yeah, I think I took a video clip of it. You probably can put it in there just of like all like the piles of yeah, garbage it's, piles. It's ridiculous. And it's like, Interesting, it's, for it's, sure. It is, I mean, it's amazing. That they, it's good that they clean it up, but it's just kind of sad too. Cause this place is really, really beautiful and has like really great bones, but it's just like sadly turned into a party town, which yeah. I mean, if that's for you, then this is the place to go. But if it's not for you, like it's not really for us. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like check it off the bucket list, but I don't think I'd ever come back here. So yeah. yeah. It's been a nice time here though. Our hotel is really beautiful and really nice. Mm -hmm. Really good location. We didn't rent a car here. And we've just been walking everywhere. Um, and this morning we were able to, we took photos, I said that already. We went to a gym, I think it was Pump. Pump gym. Pump yeah. gym, which was really nice. I, we were there for over an hour. And we took, um, I'm working with a brand right now and we took some video for them. So that's really exciting. So keep an eye out for that. And um, after that, we got some breakfast at, what was it, Cos Cosmos Cafe, Cosmos Cafe, mm -hmm. which was probably one of the best little breakfasts I think I personally have had this trip. It was really good. I've discovered I like little breakfast. Paninis. 
Penny. Is that what it is? Penny. Yeah, they're basically like breakfast penny. Just like ham and cheese and bread. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It seems really simple to probably most people, but for me, I'm like, I'm like I've discovered this thing. Yeah. So it's really good. Um, I think for the rest of the day, I think we're just going to take it easy and relax. Maybe watch some movies and edit some content and... We both brought like several books and then we never got a chance to really read all of them so I'm gonna yeah, like finish read, a book and yeah, then... read and relax. Yeah. I've read I've read quite a bit of my book. Yeah, you have. I have, but it's a big book. Yeah, I've almost it's like a six hundred page online. book. Yeah. So I'm like I've only read like probably two hundred pages this yeah. trip. So yeah, read and just relax yeah. and enjoy our last day and almost like recover from the trip because tomorrow we are it's gonna be a lot of travel. We've got yeah, it's gonna be a lot of travel. We've got a flight out of Mykonos to Athens, and then and that's a short flight. It's probably only about forty five minutes. Yeah. Forty five minute flight. But then we have about a three hour layover in Athens, three three and a half, and then our flight to Atlanta. I think is an eleven hour, ten hour, eleven hour flight. Then another <laughs> like two or three hour layover in Atlanta, and then our flight home to. Portland so all in all it's going to be another long travel day of like probably 24 hours of travel or more. I mean, <laughs> we'll we're read, we'll out, read yeah. then. <laughs> yeah, we will long. read then. Traveling here I didn't read a ton because I was editing um, past YouTube videos that I wanted to post before I even got to editing or filming any of this so still have one more of those to do yeah. which I might work on. If I feel like it, but I really just want to read. Mm -hmm. So, and that's basically our trip. Um, any thoughts about the rest of our places we stayed in? Hmm. Well, I think that Athens was a lot of fun. Athens I think was that, amazing. Um, if we were to go back again, we probably would go for a shorter amount of time just because we've seen it all. Yeah, but we've already of, seen it. Yeah. But we stayed four nights. We stayed four nights. And I think the amount of time we went was good. We probably could have shortened it down if we really wanted to because realistically, the Acropolis and the Parthenon and then all the kind of ancient science. There's, you can do like a, we did a ticket pass that allowed us to go to all of them. Mm -hmm. um, and not, not just one in one day. Like it like would last it for multiple days. Yeah, it was like, so it, it was gives you like cool. two weeks to go see all of them or a week or something like that. Mm -hmm. Um realistically you could go and you could hit all of them in a day we did it over several days just so we could get there early in the morning before there were people and, and we before could it was take hot pictures outside because yeah, it was, it was like because i feel like and plus that was the first of our start of our trip so like we were getting super tired and like off so we we've been taking naps around like right. three yeah. o'clock almost yeah. every single day yeah. this whole trip yeah. which maybe that will help us when we go back home and we'll be maybe like, we'll just see how it affects us so um but realistically i think if you you if you're probably, trying to do a quick Athens trip and then s still see other islands, you probably could just fly there and you could try and hit everything in a day. You probably could totally squeeze everything in a day. Yeah. I mean, if it's hot outside, you're going to be miserable and yeah. you're going to be over it 100%, but you could squeeze it in a day. Yeah. I think if you stay three full nights in Athens with two full days, I think that is really mm -hmm. the best way to do it. Um, For sure. That gives you time too to go see... Um, Plaka, yeah, which is and, where we stayed. and go if you like thrifting, go thrifting, go mm -hmm. shopping. There's a lot to do there, and the town is just like it's just beautiful. Like just go mm -hmm. eat and yeah. enjoy. Like it's it's I really like Athens. Yeah, because if you only had really one full day there, there's stuff that you probably wouldn't have time to do. I mean, you maybe could fit it in, but like the national gardens that we went and saw. Yeah, that was really cool. It was really cool, but you probably don't need to go see that. Yeah. But, um, and then Santorini is Santorini, Santorini, Santorini is busy. Mm -hmm. Yes. It is super expensive to stay there. Food to me was not that expensive. I feel like it was cheaper than us going out to eat at home. Like mm -hmm. it actually was. I mean, maybe we yeah. didn't eat at the fancy, fancy restaurants, but yeah. we Again, ate at we very nice yeah, restaurants still. Fairly simple. So it was still like the normal, like traditional Greek, Greek restaurants that we were eating at. Mm -hmm. And because we had a nice Airbnb that we stayed at with a nice view, we weren't going to any of the expensive restaurants that with had that views because you're really just paying for the view mm -hmm. and it's the same food you'd eat somewhere else. Yeah. So we did eat a really good, I think it was Pito's Gyros or Pito. Gyros cheese. P Pito's. P Gyros. Isn't it just Pito's? No, Pito was the name. Not <gasps> Pita Bread. Pito was the name of the restaurant. Pito's Gyros. 
So Hi. Pito Zero's was a really good um, restaurant that we went to. We went there twice. Went there twice. Um, went to a couple good breakfast restaurants. So just the one. Can we go somewhere else? What did we have a breakfast that day? Oh, we ordered food in. That's what we did. Oh, we ordered food just But highly recommend. Um, so again, we didn't rent a car there. If you're going to go to Santorini, spend the extra money. This is what I read on blog posts online too. Spend the extra money to get a place with a dip pool, like a little plunge pool, and a view of the island. Spend the money. And that's walking distance, so expend, like stay in the little main area mm -hmm. um, of Ia. Isn't it Ia? Or Oya, I don't know how to say it. I don't know. On the northern end, where all the, like, all the main spots are and attractions, it is worth it, makes it worth it, because the, the streets feel like Disneyland, and they're very tight streets, and there's really just like one or two little main roads that walk through there, and it is busy. <laughs> and everyone crowds during sunset to see sunset, and it's just like, I feel like us being able to stay and be able to get away from the crowds, we were able to really soak in the magic of Santorini. Like, I would love to go back to Santorini. Like, even though I'm tired on this trip, like, if I could go back right now, I would. Like, it was worth it 100%. We woke up super early in the morning for sun sunrise every day and saw the sights um, when there's really no one out. There was a few people taking photos, but because everyone woke up early and everyone kind of has that same mindset, I think everyone was pretty friendly about taking photos yeah. and kind of waiting our turn and stuff. So, I don't know. <laughs> to me, the hype for Santorini, it's it's worth it. It makes sense. Are you on your phone? What are you doing? I'm just, yeah. Hi. Hi. Oh my gosh. The magic, it's, it's real. It's gorgeous. Um, and then let's talk about Milos. You really like Milos. Yeah, I would go back there for I sure. I would go back there for sure. It seems like the locals, when we talked about the three islands we're going to, they're like, oh yeah, party in Mykonos, um, romance in Santorini, and then um, relax and family time in mm -hmm. Milos was how they described those three islands. Um, so we got a little taste of everything. Milos is definitely way more chill, way more relaxed. There's definitely like three different areas to kind of stay. You kind of got like the port, mm -hmm. Plaka, which is where we stayed. And then there's like... I keep wanting to say like pole arena and I know it's not right, but yeah. it's like a little island. fishing port on the east side. It's really pretty that if I came back to Milos, that is where I would personally stay because I like a lot of the restaurants mm -hmm. in the area. And it feels like a lot of locals. It doesn't feel quite as touristy until you go to the beaches and then it feels a little touristy. But the beaches are just gorgeous and I definitely could go back there and like just pick a beach every day and just stay there for the full day. And just swim and bring mm -hmm. snacks and 100%. Like if I, we lived closer to this side of the world, like we would like, when we have kids, like go there for a week, mm -hmm. <laughs> like 100%. Um, recommend going to Milos. And that's, I mean, that's our trip. Mm -hmm. That's our trip. Yeah, I think if we went back to Milos, cause I would definitely go longer for mm -hmm. sure. For sure. Um, spend probably, more time. Yeah, I would spend more time there, but I probably would want to rent an ATV mm -hmm. rather than a car. Mm -hmm. I mean, the car is nice because you're not getting dusty Dust. and dirty. Super dusty, yeah, especially if it's windy, which yeah. was windy when we were there. Yeah, but probably would do an ATV because it just, some of the, like, the last two beaches that we went to, which I can't pronounce them, so you can just insert the names, but um, it was, they were quite, like, bumpy roads, and I just think with an ATV, you're just going to feel a little bit more confident. And there's, like, a that whole part like, of the island, there's, like, a whole, like, probably third of the island that you cannot get to by car, and you have to take yeah. an ATV. Yeah. So that's all, if we were there longer, that would be worth it. Yeah, because there's a couple of cool beaches that I was looking at, like on Google um, apps that are, like one's an old um, mining um, like settlement that you can go to the beach and they still have like all the old mining equipment that's just resting in the buildings. And mm -hmm. so it would be kind of cool to go to, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe next time. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I think I'm gonna end the vlog here since we're just having an easy day night and traveling all day tomorrow and I think we're both just fried. Yep. <laughs> like I'm still awake with right now, but like I know in a couple hours I'm gonna take a nap, <laughs> take a little nap. So that's our Greece trip. Um, if you liked this vlog, follow along, um, like and subscribe and um, find me on Instagram to see all my photos of the trip. So, cause that's mm -hmm. really, honestly, that's our cup of tea. That's what we, our masters at not yeah. not the vlogging <laughs> the photos is what we're good at so 
Something's nice to vlog the memories. So, yep. um, see you next time. <laughs> <laughs>